But, but let's shift gears back to the globalist and their system of death and nihilistic destruction. Here's Paul Joseph Watson's article from this morning. Nuclear expert calls global warming alarmist Mambiot criminally irresponsible for downplaying Fukushima. Prominent nuclear and radiation expert Dr. Christopher Busby has slammed British global warming alarmist George Mambiot a guy who's called for green tyranny, by the way, criminally irresponsible for writing a series of articles for The Guardian in which Mambiant downplays the threat of radiation from the stricken Fukushima reactor plant in a bid to shore up his claim about man-made climate change being a far deadlier concern, carbon dioxide. In the wake of Fukushima, we have seen numerous self-proclaimed environmentalists who are normally so quick to raise the alarm about devastation caused by man-made global warming actually downplaying the environmental concerns attached to Fukushima crisis radiation and nuclear power in general. Chief among them is prominent British environmentalist George Mambiot, who openly calls for world government in public essays. Just type George Mambiot, global government, and you'll get all his big articles about it. But we're still kooks for not wanting it. See, it doesn't exist. He plays this mind game. I'm for world government, but you're not allowed to be against it. And if you are, we'll write articles about you saying you're crazy, like The Guardian's done many times. Uh, hey, I got this IMF report saying you set up the collapse and are going to try to cut off our resources and our coal plants and do all this. Hey, I don't want to be a slave. Shut up. It doesn't exist, dangerous person. Did you cause the Gifford shooting? Are you some type of violent person? Thank goodness we've got Cass Sunstein going after you. Maybe you should be arrested. Just open tyrants, a bunch of weak pansies, jumping around like fairies, telling me how I'm their slave. No, you little piece of trash. I'm not your slave. I'm red-blooded. I got a big heart pumping blood. I'm strong. My ancestors were strong. And we're going to rouse and rise free humanity to identify who you are. And as you wage war against us, 1776. You and Ann Coulter and all of you telling us the radiation's good for us. You telling us death is good for us. Abortion and one-child policies are good. We're not drinking out of your fetid, filthy, pus-filled cup, your goblet of death. We recognize your slimy weakness, and that's why you wage war against strength and the family and everything beautiful, because you're a bunch of twisted, servile worms who've turned yourself over to pure evil. And I openly rebuke you. I openly call you out before God and everyone else. And I pray that the masses fully break their conditioning and the spell they're under and recognize you for what you are, a 21st century green Hitler calling for global domination through a corporate creeping structure that strangles free humanity. I'm calling you out, you piece of trash, you maggot. Right out of the gates of Hades. Go back to Hades where you came from. Crawl back there. But God's going to judge you. You know, God judges twice. You're in this life, it comes back on you. You reap what you sow. And when you die, there's two judgments, there's two comings. I wouldn't want to be you in the type of black, bloody treasure you're taking on. The chains you're wrapping around your soul for eternity. The big chest with the bloody silver you drag behind you. Telling people that families are bad. Telling people radiation is good because you love the infertility it creates. Not just against humans, but all life. The deformity, the pain, the suffering children that I can see in my mind's eye by the millions that have died from radiation poisoning. Poor little decent, sweet three, four, five, six year olds with that light of life and humanity dimming, their teeth falling out, vomiting, dying of cancers, never getting to grow old, never getting to have children and love and passion and grandchildren and all the good things they had because you people had to kill them. You people had to suck the life out of them. Of them for your stinking satanic egos. I declare eternal war against you. All of my humanity, all of the strength of my ancestors, all of the strength that God gives me, we will defeat you. Humanity will not let you prevail. You will not keep humanity from its destiny to populate the stars and become what God envisions for us. You will fail. You have failed from the foundations of the creation of Earth. And you know it. Laugh all you want, but in your gut, 
in your soul, in the remnants that are left of it, you giggle, that mirth-filled lie, that acid spit spilling stench because you can feel the mouth of hell that maw opening you can feel your soul stretching thin as you are sucked into eternity to be damned to be amongst your own kind truly a hell in it of itself no longer decent beautiful humanity to wage war upon but nothing but your kind together forever because it is what you are you are children of death you are children of disease and theft and pain and crippled destruction you wish to cripple humanity you yourselves are crippled all of you all of you who willfully serve darkness, who willfully try to keep people in the dark, who willfully try to dumb people down, committing the ultimate crime in your jealous envy of the strong. That's why you talk about eugenics and the elite all day. Yeah, look at the five British families and the British monarchy test who bred the Wedgwoods and the Galtons and the other families together, the Huxleys, the Darwins, in those Superman breeding tests over 70 years, by the end of it, almost all the children were born dead or they weren't. They were criminally insane. The few that survived are now top captains of the New World Order. That's who you are. You run from the light. You hate the light. You hate anything good, anything beautiful, anything wholesome. Green fields, blue skies, anything decent is anathema to you, like a cross and holy water to a vampire. You run from it. You flee from it. You flee from goodness because the wicked flee when none pursue.